Ding 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 ding. That ridge line. How long that take? About less than I don't know, 30 seconds. I'll give you a quick run through how I do it. basically have a loop on the end of your uh, ridge line. I've gone a bit OTT with this one, it's, you can use 550 paracord. You can put a bow line in, or all I've done, because I know that loop's going to stay in there, is you can double that over like that, do a normal overhand knot, pass it back through, and there's your loop. I'm not gonna pull that tight because I don't want that loop in there. Bow lines you can do quicker, but I have that in there all the time. So simply, pass your ridge line round the tree, roughly what height or whatever setup you're gonna do. And you can pass all that all the way through there. <laughs> I don't, I normally make a little loop there, stick in, and you can sort of crank it. Crank it up, run it along to the tree. Now this is a trucker's hitch, which sounds complicated, but it actually isn't. The way I've learned to do it is keeping your fixed point onto the right, to the right of you. You go around the far end of the tree. I don't know if this matters, but this is how it works for me. You keep a small amount of tension on there. Instead of grabbing it like that, grab it like that. Not like that, like that. With your four fingers, get it and twist it. Grab it, twist it, and then open it out. And where the rest of it goes round to the tree, pull it through. And you just pass the rest of your loop round, the rest of your ridge line round. And you can crank it up fairly tight. Right, and you pinch that, throw the whole lot over both lines. And then you make what is number four. So you've got your number four over there, that's pinched up tight. You just reach through, pull that through, wick it up. And there you go, quick deploy ridge line. So you've got your Prusik knots, really handy. Simple to do. So you've got it over, bring it through itself once, twice, and then just pull it through. I've got four Prusiks on there, which is probably overkill. So you just pass it over loop it for itself once loop it for itself twice and then pull keep it dressed up it's getting in a bit of a tangle keep it dressed up pull and there you have your prusik which when under tension won't go anywhere but as soon as you loosen it off you can move it along this one actually looks a bit neater, if you see how it's meant to look. That's how it is. So, tension, loosen it off. And there you have it. Thank you, I hope that was helpful for someone. It's a little bit windy.
Bye-bye. <laughs>